Today is going wrong, but I don't care because it's beautiful. I'm visiting every station on the North Wales coastline. I'm here at Valley and we're about to visit every station on Anglesey to complete the line. Come and join me. I need something else to clear my head. Someone to tell me how to live instead. Just open your eyes and take my advice. Stop. Right. Okay, so you may notice the light is fading. That's because it's quarter past three in the afternoon and this is actually the second time I've been here. We were here at nine o'clock this morning to get the train out of here. The first two hours didn't have any sound because I forgot to plug the microphone in. I've already been to Hollyhead, etc. You're gonna see that later in the video, but that's actually past me. That train was 20 minutes late. It threw the whole plan out the window, had to do a entire new plan oh and for good measure the platform at Tkreuz is closed in the Chester direction that's also caused a few problems you've got all that to come but I've had all that in my past so forgive me if I seem a little bit stressed right now I'm just losing it here a bit so I'm about to catch what is for you the first train of the day what is for me the last train of the day to our first station of Ross Niger I know for a fact it's really beautiful there spoilers Look at it, look at it. I thought with everything that's been going wrong that I was gonna be in a bad mood today, but you know what, suddenly I'm feeling a lot, lot better. We're here for an hour and 40 minutes and I'm okay with that. There's a beach down there and we're gonna take a walk down to the beach. This is so nice. I'm saying it, I am saying it. I am in my happy place. You know what, that sign is correct. We should stop all 150s. Come here, come to this station. Like, this station is amazing. We've only just realised that my microphone wasn't plugged into the camera because I am such a lemon. The bits that you're going to see on the beach now are actually filmed even later. But we've already been there. Ah, today is going wrong. But I don't care because it's beautiful. One of the many reasons why today has been messed up is not, not just the train being delayed, but this, the platform at Tkreuz has been closed heading in that direction. That was meant to be the first station we were going to, but the trains are not stopping there right now. That came into place yesterday. Timed that very badly. That view is amazing. Now behind me is the end of the runway at RAF Valley. One of the things I forgot to mention when we were at Valley is that if you listen to the shipping forecast recreationally, I mean, like, who wouldn't listen to the shipping forecast recreationally? If you don't, you should try it. It's a great way to get to sleep. But you'll hear Valley mentioned as one of them. I think it's the, the coastal weather stations. I mean, I know it's an inconsequential point, but I think, yeah, I know where that is. It's here. I'm getting throwbacks to when I climbed the sand dunes at Hale. I didn't expect this. I expected it to be nice, but this is another level. That's the thing I love about Wales. Wales will always surprise you. We're only a 25 minute walk from the station here. If you ever find yourself here, come and take a walk down here. While I'm here on this beach, it seems like an appropriate moment to say a massive thank you to my lovely Patreons. They're all scrolling on the screen right now and they brought me to the beach and I love them for it. If you want to get your name onto the list that's scrolling right now, the links to do so are in the description. But massive, massive thank you to you guys. Right, I'm going that way. One of the things I've liked about doing this North Wales series is it's been a stressful couple of months dealing with a house move. But throughout that, just every so often we've been coming out to film here in North Wales. And my God, is it a great way to de-stress. <sighs> 
Right, I can see our train coming in the distance. Our next station is that one that's just before Bangor. It would be another 150, wouldn't it? Oh, it's busy. It's very loud on this train. I think there's some kind of hen party on here. And there's a lot of alcohol flowing. Oh my word, that was so busy. And it's getting busier. There's loads of people getting on here. Right, so you've been waiting for me to say the name of this station. I'm not going to lie. I've been struggling to do it off the top of my head, but luckily they've got this handy sign here to help me. So I'm sorry for what I'm about to destroy. Clanver, Paul Gwyn, Gil, Goga, Yukwan, Drobbel, Lantacilio, Go, Go, Go. I think that's at least close. From here on in, I'm going to go with Clanver PG. I didn't actually realize how short the platforms are here. Like we had a doubled up. There's a 150 and a 153, I think it was. And even it couldn't fit all of the two coach 150 part of it in. Yeah, I couldn't get over how busy though. That was a very, very painfully busy train and so many people getting on. I think something's going on somewhere that involves lots of people dressing up and drinking lots of alcohol. Luckily, our next train will be going that way. So the village is actually only named as such for tourism. Back in, I think it was the Victorian times, they, they renamed it to attract people to come and visit. And you know what? It's clearly worked because now there's a gift shop. Go on, we'll do some gift shopping. I love a good gift shop. Just down the road from here are the bridges over the Menai Strait. It was in the plan to kind of head over to them, but because of the, the, the way everything has gone wrong so far today, I'm probably going to just cut to future Jen being by those bridges now and talking about them. It's a beautiful bridge, isn't it? This is the Menai Suspension Bridge. It crosses the Menai Strait. So that is one of Telford's bridges opening in 1826 and I know we're not meant to have favorite bridges that's one of my favorite bridges it always has been always will be that existed for years and years and years and then the railways came along we have to then talk about the Britannia bridge which is this one here but there's a route on top of that there's a story there in 1970, there was a massive fire in the original Britannia Bridge, which was a tubular bridge like the one that we saw in Conwy, but that fire kind of destroyed it. So it had to be rebuilt. And around the same time, they wanted to build the Bangor Bypass. So they took the opportunity to rebuild the rail bridge a bit more normally, and also put a road deck on top of it, which now carries the A55 across onto Anglesey. That's been like that since the 70s. And there's talk about building another bridge because that's at capacity. I love these bridges. Mainly that one, mainly that one. What's not to love about it? Okay, bridge talk over. Our train is due in five minutes, so it's just gone delayed by a minute. It's not the worst delay so far today. Uh, we're going to the next station of t -Croitz. Any minute now, I might as well try one more time. Kanbaa, Pulguin, Gil Go 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 I can do that, the first and last bit's fine, it's just that middle bit is a bit timey wimey wordy wobbly. We're about to have a first for Jen on the move. A rail replacement bus. Yay! Next time I visit the final three stations on Anglesey. I ride a replacement bus, I point in a bus shelter, and I stand by some more water. I'm going to leave a link here to the next video that I think you should watch. Until next time, bye bye.